people always want to know how to get better at art and in particular at drawing. And the simple answer is by practicing, but also by having what's called a visual library. What is a visual library and how will it help you with your art? I'll talk about all that right here, right now. To start, a visual library is key to an artist's ability to draw and to draw well. But what is a visual library? Well, first of all, what is a library? It's a place that contains information, in some cases written text and in pictures. So we the artist want to have pictures and images stored in our minds of things that we've seen and might want to draw or paint one day in the future. Now our minds work in different ways. It's very easy to build up the visual library. You can do it in everyday life. Let's say you want to draw a car. Well, you can observe cars when you're out and about. Notice, for example, how the light reflects off of the paint. How the color changes, for example, of a red car in direct light or shade or even at night. Look at it from far away and close up. Take mental and, if you need, physical notes and think about how you'd render the curves of the car, the different shapes in your drawing. Observation is key, my friends. So be observant all the time. And maybe you're just looking at how the light reflects off of your cup. Not that you're planning on drawing that cup, but you can use aspects of that, aspects of what you observed in future projects. Maybe you're detailing how I'm painting a coffee shop and you want to throw in some cups and you can refer back to those memories, to those visual library and say, hey, this cup and that writing look like that and so on. So maybe my visual library or yours is better than someone else's. So what can you do if you have trouble remembering and storing these images in your mind? Well, you can have a file on your phone or on your computer or printed material with pictures of different things. For example, I have a file on my computer with different images of animals. Maybe the same animal from different angles. And what I do is I label the pictures and images so they're nice and organized and so I can easily find them when I need them. I also have reference files of close-up of people's eyes, lips, noses, ears, and so on. So at any time I need to, I can quickly go and refer to those pictures. And maybe I'm stating the obvious, but but Google is a treasure trove of reference images. And it's important to stay organized with your images and with your art in general. And maybe we'll talk about that in a future video. But what's ideal is to have the images stored in your mind and always be building up that visual library. So I guess one key takeaway is to always be observing and absorbing your surroundings, adding to that visual library. And if you can't remember, don't get upset. Find a reference image or take a picture and always be building up that visual library, whether it be in your mind or on your computer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some good points out of this. As always, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and check me out on Etsy and Instagram. The links are below. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.